Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, Lots of action out after the close, folks. Uh, bottom line is that uh, when you stop putting it all together, uh, you have the Qs trading down about a buck right now. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the first hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under Featured Content, the opening call. Bottom line, you can hit that opening call. You hit Subscribe. Uh, you can get the opening call for one month for $128. You can get it for six months at $595, which is a savings of $173. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. And all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check it out, folks, right on the front page of TFNN.com. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Welcome back. We missed you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the help you gave us. Uh, that's always a pleasure. Uh, we really appreciate it, Basil. Yeah, it's great Thank being you. back, too. No doubt, man. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. As you land, you say, oh, good to be back in America, huh? Oh, no doubt, man. There's no <laughs> doubt. There's no doubt. So, lots of action out here, Basil. Well, lots of action. Let me just briefly show something here. Uh, I can think it's right here. Is that it? I hope so. Yes. So um, just wanted to say that in the Chapman Wave methodology, what we try to do is identify the most obvious lowest low bar. Now, yeah. from that low bar, we try to get a buy signal that will be generating a buy mode, which says that you should go to four higher peaks. I alphabetize them, uppercase on the way up and lowercase on the way down, and they can go to G. But the fourth highest peak, D, is where other things can happen. I always talk about patterns, and the two patterns that I, there are three patterns in the market that I always look at, straight line up or down, that's one. A cup or an arch, that's two. Or, and sometimes you get a combination, straight line down, and then a rally that fails, retests the low bar. We've seen that in some, some, of, the, uh, uh, some of the indices. And... You can also get a rally that goes to the top, makes a cup formation, retest the top, and how it breaks above is going to be very important. So we'll see that in action right now. The Dow uh, is trading at 26,462. It made a high of 26,695. We're actually short for subscribers. The Dow, one of the reasons being we've gotten to the D. There's the cup formation. It made a cup and a handle, but a rising one. The MACD was, didn't show any... Any of the strength that it had shown when it was much lower down back at 26,241 in the, uh, late February. You can see the MACD was up higher, and now it's just down here. It's almost about to cross negative, and the slow stochastic has been very good. Now it's at 85%, so it's starting to pull back. Not all, all the, the ducks are saying that this thing should tank. It is saying that there's a good chance that there's going to be a bit of a hiatus right now. So we'll see what happens, and you can see... Right here, we've got a V-shaped formation in the weekly chart, but then there's this sign that there could be an arch formation saying a little breather. Look at that a little doji candle. We'll see how tomorrow closes out. Seems to me that uh, if you're looking at this market, I often talk about a bifurcation where you've got two separate, uh, even within a sector, you've got separate the stocks going different ways. For instance, today, you had a very sharp move down, uh, both in Caterpillar and Triple M. And yet you had Microsoft doing very well also in the Dow. So this is the time to be very selective, very careful. And one of the things that we've done is we've got the IYT. We've had long since the 186 area. Yesterday we went to 200. And I see let's be a little careful here. So we've got a pullback today. And now I think the uh, transports could take a little bit of a breather. A fantastic move going from 155 to 200. That's almost a 50-point gain. That's... <laughs> That's a 28%, 30%. That's very good. So I think it's just, a, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, let's see what happens. And what's also interesting is that the semiconductor ind uh, index, which we've had a, a really intense focus on, uh, here we are, uh, makes made a new all-time all high at 120.71. And sometimes the fundamentals and the technicals just don't agree. Look, here's the North American Semiconductor Equipment Industry Post for March 2019, the billings. Um, and here it is. It shows back in September, there was a 1.2 year over year gain, just 0.5 in October, minus 5% in November, minus 12 in December, minus 20 in January. February was minus 22. And the uh, March uh, preliminary, 
is already at 24 percent down, lower, and yet we're at all-time highs. There's something wrong with that picture. So I'm thinking, yeah, that we're getting a little ahead of ourselves in some of the sectors. Maybe the semis are going to be the clue because if the SMH is trading at 117 right now, start to trade under 114, it says, yeah, probably going to have a timeout. So we're watching that very closely. Yeah, you're, and... going, to, you're going to have that right now because Intel came out with the numbers and the SMHs are getting slammed. They're down another $2. They're trading 115 They are, okay, right now. good. Yep. And, you know, yesterday you had Xilinx, which was just oh, yeah. an absolute winner for years, get right. smacked. Right. But LAM Research, they keep buying back stock. I don't know what they're doing. They, they got the same story as the others, yet they, they had a big spike today. What is interesting is you were talking about the dollar. And yes. as you know, we've been along the dollar now. It's over a year, April the 4th of last year, we went along at 90.07. We've taken just a tiny little bit off. I, I've liked the dollar for a long time. And the one reason I've liked it is that I've considered it to be like an international bellwether or a benchmark for uh, countries looking at what's the strongest, where can we put our money? And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of countries are actually putting their money in the dollar somehow or other, and I think that's benefiting the uh, the dollar. Yes. So now we're in leg D, and as I said before, we've got, look at these, I was talking about the cup formation, you've got cup formations all over the show. Look at this big one in the weekly chart, look at that. And now it's, sorry, it's just at about resistance right now, maybe you can go a little bit higher. So I'm going to be watching closely, because now that we've got the breakout in the monthly into leg C, for me, it says, okay, you achieved exactly what you wanted. Our target was to start leg C with good technicals. Maybe now there'll be a bit of a breather because we're going to be watching uh, gold and, and some of the metals and certainly some of the agricultural stocks, uh, agricultural um, grains, to see if they're able to rally here because this strength in the dollar has really uh, been quite a negative effect in some areas. So this is going to be a very interesting point. So we, I still remain along the dollar. I think it's... I'm hoping that it's the currency of 2019 as well, as well as it was for 2018. But this in leg D is always where I get a little careful. The MACD is good in the daily. Stochastic uh, is at 84%. I would have preferred to see it at 90%. We'll see. Very important period right now. And, you know, the euro is testing lows. Uh, right. So this, this is going to be important. Yeah, pretty wild. And listen, folks, don't forget, every trading day, you can listen to Basil right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Great program. Uh, you want to get a great newsletter, the opening call, the way you do it, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right into featured content. You hit the opening call, and you are off to the races. Man, there's a lot of uh, moving parts in this baby out here today, Basil. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, United Technologies shoots up to the upside and then Triple M, and they usually travel kind of together. This is a very interesting market right now because now you're starting to see I think you're looking at the potential for what's going to happen in the summer, where the strength is, where the overboard sectors are. Very important week coming up, going into the first week of May. You're going to love it. Check it out, folks, right in the front page of TFNN. Get out of featured content. I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, and the opening call. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Good to have you back. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.